Aha! Creature Capture Station. That's the thing that we need to make next. Welcome back to Starbound, everybody. This is Slash. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some pixels here. I hope I've got enough to make this. Where'd it go? Creature. Creature Capture Station. Craft. And then we can put this down pretty much anywhere, I hope. Can I put it on the wall? I can put it on the wall, so cool. And then what does it do? We have a capture pod and a peanut butter trap. I just need more pixels for that. And let's see, throw it at a small grounded monster below 50% health. Maybe you'll get lucky. And then this says, this could retract anything. I should make sure I'm prepared before using it. So this is the next boss summoner. I'm not exactly sure what to do with the other thing. I don't know if it's even necessary, strictly. But, apparently that is the next thing that we need. And so I'm just gonna uh, yeah, mine this up. Chop this down here real quick. And then we're gonna have to go around trolling for pixels. Because I think I needed 700 pixels to be able to craft that. I've got the Durasteel because I've been going crazy mining for... Is it platinum or titanium? I can't remember which one gives you the Durasteel, but uh, let's go ahead and drop those in there. I'll replant later. But yeah, let's just wander around our own planet here and see how many pixels we can get from the things that are here. Let's see, we're 274, 284. Okay, hmm. Not exactly speedy. All right, well, let's head off to a Delta Sector world of some description. Uh, this is a tentacle planet. Actually, I don't know if I've shown this on camera, so yeah, let's head down. This planet is wacky, and I think it plays messed up music, too. And it's not really playing it right now. Oh. Whoa! Fire from above. Oh, that was only 10 pixels too, so... I don't see that there's really a benefit. To... I didn't get any pixels from that guy. I don't see that there's a benefit to, uh... Going after these higher level creatures. Here's the crazy music. Oh, we're, we're getting some now. Because all of a sudden we're up at 574, so I don't know what's going on with the pixels. But yeah, this music is nuts. Ooh, they're going to kill me. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Don't do it. Gotcha. Oh, I think we have enough now, actually. Let's all give it a shot. Can we make... Yes, peanut butter trap can be made. Alright, now the question is, do I have the best armor available? What am I actually wearing right now? I am wearing a knight's helm... I'm wearing the knight's set of armor. Now, the armor generally is at the bottom of the list. And I'm thinking... What are these makeshift things made out of steel? I think I already used that. I'm looking... Those, you, those are made out of titanium and upgraded from gold. I don't think there's better armor available. Let's look in here. At some point, I want to start working on these drills, too. I think you have to start at a copper drill. And no, I guess you start at a... Oh, that's gold. Copper. Yeah, apparently you start at a copper drill and you work your way up. Apparently the drills are better than the pickaxe. Uh, do we have... 
Oh, we got Dark Knight's Greaves, Dark Knight's Helm, Dark Knight's Breastplate. Okay, so this would be the next best thing up. Okay. And it completely replaces what I've got on now, which is kind of irritating. I wish they would just upgrade everything rather than having me... Like, now I've got this piece of equipment that I don't really need on me anymore. So I think I'm going to be spending some time off camera. I'm just going to put this away in here. I think I'm going to spend some time off camera mining up ores and trying to get more durasteel, which is, I think it's coal and titanium, if I remember right. I'm not 100% sure. But I'm going to be working on that off camera so that I can get the full set of uh, tools, or not tools, the full set of armor. It's my fuel. Fuel looks good. And then once I'm fully armored up, and I have a few more stim packs than this, then we will... Can't man. Then we will uh, summon that, be uh, that beast and have it out with it. So I will see you guys when I am prepared for that battle. So I've been wandering around this planet gathering resources and I found one of these apex places, but it looks like something went horribly, horribly wrong, experiment-wise. And glowy vine lights apparently have sprouted. That's interesting. Also, over here a little bit further, because I've gone ahead a bit. Let me get this copper quick. There is what appears to be a massive uh, prison complex. And it actually, can't keep getting distracted by shiny rocks. It actually says on a sign somewhere over here about being a penal colony. Oop, hello. Ow! That was not nice. Let me see where it is. It's gotta be up here pretty soon. Ouch. Take those pixels, though. I didn't think I had to go this far to get to it. I'll bring you guys back in when I'm there. Here we are, USCM Penal Colony. I've already gone through and cleared out some of this. But this thing is huge! And there were a bunch of NPCs in here that all wanted to kill me. Like I said, I've cleaned most of it out, but let me move on, because it seemed like a bunch of them spawned together. See, this is connected to this one. And I'm pretty sure I would have left these doors open, so I'm not sure why. Let's like, get out while you still can. Not sure why they were closed. Really disgusting toilet right here. <laughs> it says mess hall. Can I sit in these? No, they're just decoration. Okay. They said they would come back, and apparently they lied. But yeah, I mean, just full with NPCs, and I didn't even finish clearing this out. Pretty shortly we will get to an area where... Ouch. <laughs> where I will fall and hurt myself! But very shortly we'll get to a place where uh, some of the NPCs... NPCs? NPCs. Some of the NPCs will be there. There we go, here's somebody in here. Oh, oh, jeez, I'm being shot from below. Ah, and above! Ouch! This didn't hurt all that much, though. So, I'm not super impressed. So, what is... By the way, I got this. I don't think I had this last time. Okay, it doesn't seem to do much damage. I think I prefer my other gun. And this guy keeps getting me. Come here. I think he's hitting me with a folding chair. <laughs> Alright, let me get things sorted out here. I want, instead of this, I want this guy back. Because what does it say? Oh, what is going on with my frame rate right now? Hang on a sec. Alright, that seems to have helped a little bit. I forgot I had my browser open in another part of my desktop. Oh, hello! Come on, bring it! 
Oh, you, you brought it slightly. Not very nice. Uh, is there anything in the Coke machine? Nope. Nothing over there. So, but this place is absolutely massive. The amount of... Oh, this looks like a visitation room. That's kind of clever. There is no need to be upset, it says. I don't know. I think if I was in prison, I would have... I would have a good reason to be upset. Oh, okay, there we go. That's the end of the penal colony. But that thing was massive. So much stuff in there. It was absolutely ridiculous. But anyway... Uh, oh, that's a bow. Why do I still have a bow in that slot? Hold on. Let's... I only need the bow from hunting food, and I've got plenty of food, so let's do that. That's going to be a little bit better of a plan. Anyway, I'm going to keep collecting resources here. Oh, look at you here. It's beginning of resources. Plus, we got this guy. <laughs> but what I'm interested in is all of this. Oh yeah, titanium for days. Alright, I think we are about as geared up as we're going to be able to be for this boss. We've got the Dark Knight's full set of armor here. I've got... <laughs> I don't know how this works. I've got my lantern and I put this magic scroll that I found in the eye slot, whatever you would call that. And now it looks like I'm wearing a huge scroll on my back, and I'm not exactly sure what purpose that serves, other than to look hilarious. Uh, and I've got my snow infantry stuff. I don't know if this stuff actually helps keep you warm in this slot, or if you have to wear it instead of the armor. Um, I don't know. Uh, I've also, off camera, I managed to get a couple more techs. I have uh, a gravity neutralizer, which does this, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And then the Morph Ball, which uh, is basically, it looks like it's Metroid inspired, but I don't see much of a benefit to it. So I will not be using it, most likely. Also got a few new guns I don't think that I had before. This thing, I think, bounces uh, projectiles around. Yeah. And then it explodes, I think, when it finally hits something. Let's bounce it around in here a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty cool. Uh, and I got this guy, which is sort of like an RPG. Actually does some damage to the surrounding blocks. And I got this little submachine gun thing, which is a higher rate of fire than this guy was. So yeah, I think that is going to about do it for prep. I think it's time to just go ahead and summon forth whatever this thing summons forth. I don't actually know. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> it's been forever recording this episode. It's been so long since I last saw anybody's Starbound because they pretty much all finished theirs. So I actually am at, at a complete loss for what this summons. But here we go. Let's uh, let's go like that. Yeah. Oh boy. This uh, well this thing's fun. Okay. Uh, let's take out these guys. Come on, bounce up higher. Uh, no? Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Come on, have some. Oh, I'm gonna blow myself up. Alright, let's try the RPG missile on this guy. Oh, I missed. Oh, that's not good. And... Now. Man, I went straight past him. Alright, we'll do it this way. The rate of fire on this is so slow. This guy doesn't seem to be able to penetrate my defenses here, so... Whoops! Come on! <laughs> Famous last words, although now he seems super stuck. I'm not impressed with this boss in the slightest. Haha! -ha, that one is down. Let's... Give you a couple more shots of that, why don't we? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, not super threatened by this guy. Maybe maybe my defenses here are a little OP. Although honestly, if the boss should be able to take me out. 
Oop. Can I take out the central guy without taking out the ending guys, I wonder? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Alright, this is not particularly uh, interesting this way. Let's, let's go topside. Oh! See, now he's throwing stuff at me. He just couldn't see me before. Alright. Ouch! Ouch. Come get it! Ow! Alright, I'll go ahead and use one of those. Thank you very much. You're stuck, so I'm just gonna wail on you a little bit. How's that sound? Oh, man, you're hitting me through there. Okay. Have some of these, why don't you? Yeah, you're stuck. What are you gonna do about it? Oops. <laughs> oh, man, easiest boss fight ever. See ya! Alright, now for the last guy. Oh, one of these swings takes him down a whole chunk, does it? Get back here. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe that was just coincidence. Okay. And rocket in your butt. <laughs> okay, I think I just shot the ceiling there by accident. Yeah, you build yourself a little barricade like this, and these guys are no problem at all. Definitely need some improved AI here. Alright, what do we got? Endomorphic jelly. And jelly. Oh, jelly. Information on the jelly. Okay. Wait. <laughs> A vile gelatinous blob of malevolence and raspberry. Mm. Let's go check that out, shall we? Uh, jelly boss. Read selected. A staple at children's party, a tasty wobbly snack, fun food for the whole family, until it sprouts eyes and tentacles and tries to slaughter you. No amount of ice cream will make up for being eaten by a ravenous, gelatinous blob. This horrifying mockery of a dessert descends from the skies, wibbling and wobbling. It's little jelly shot sidekicks ready to provide backup. It was your fault, of course. You laid that peanut butter trap. Everyone knows peanut butter attracts jelly. Jelly doesn't even taste nice. Who knows where it came from, what its goal is, what flavor it might be. A florin once claimed it tasted like chicken. But nobody is sure if a florin really knows what chicken tastes like. Plus, chicken jelly? Let's not make this any worse. The only way to deal with this jelly is to stick a fork in it and declare it done. And by fork, we mean sword, axe, or spear. Or shoot it. Or fire arrows at it. Or blow it up. Anything that results in the jelly exploding into horrifying, sticky globules counts as a win. Fun jelly fact. After the humans first encountered with this creature, a fight broke out in the USCM barracks when some of the soldiers referred to it as jelly and others referred to it as jam. In the end, the commanding officer decided it was called Brian. <laughs> Uh, this game is just too silly for its own good sometimes. Alright, not too shabby. A little bit easier of a boss fight than I was expecting, to be honest with you. But uh, apparently the AI could not handle my simple little cobble barricade. Something to bear in mind for the future. Although that might be it in terms of enemies. Uh, let's see, what can we make now? Now that we have endomorphic jelly, uh, that's not the right one. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you make now with the jelly. That's an old upgrade. What do I do with the jelly, my people? Makeshift check chest 
piece. That's with a matter block. How do you make a matter block? Hold on. Uh, nope, not in there. Can you make it over here? Matter... no? Uh... Huh. Let's capture pods. I'm not sure where to go from here. One would presume something would require endomorphic jelly to create. But I do not see such a beast in the menu. Uh, no. Oh, here we are. Durasteel Tech Upgrade. Endomorphic jelly and Durasteel bars. It's a temporary thing. Unlock Sector X and the ability to work with the Age Assault found on level 5 planets. Okay. So that's... That's what we need right there. So we need more Durasteel. And how do we make Durasteel again? Durasteel. Durasteel bars come from coal and titanium. And I've got plenty of titanium, but not enough coal. So you know what we do? We chop down some trees and make charcoal. That's what we do. Well, that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. This episode was a long time in the making from start to finish. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one. Hopefully in Sector X.